So you see that? That's what we did, uh, I don't know, three months ago. As we do one of these jobs, next thing we know is neighborhood needs to know what we're doing and how it fits. And then we start having a conversation with them and we then end up in their backyard and implement a design for this homeowner. And he said, hey, only thing you gotta do is just make sure it's better than my neighbors. I think we'll, we've got that covered and we'll make that happen. Better than the neighbors. That was like a little bit of a tall ask, but I got my pencil out and I started thinking about how can I make this space have just a little bit more pizzazz how can I make this space just something that's unique? So one of the things that came to mind while I'm standing there talking with our client is, what if I created a couple different circle areas in this space? So I've got one for the table and chairs and I've got another one for the fire pit. The fire pit one, I dress up a little bit, but I also change the textures on the ground. So the pavers are at different angles. I'm using textured versus smooth pavers. And I'm just kind of being a little bit unique with the layout in this space. So that's what I did. I put a circle over here and a circle over there. I changed that angle. And then I said, while we're sitting here, what would I like to have happen while I'm sitting here? Well, I would wanna hear the sound of water, right? That The neighbor doesn't have that. I would wanna have everything lit up so that it has just this unique kind of warmth throughout while the flame is going, we've got that flickering, we have the sound of water going, we have the warmth of the heat of the, from the fire coming. So I'm kind of thinking, okay, in a perfect world, what does it look like? You know, I've got my cigar right here, I've got my bourbon in the other hand. I'm just enjoying this kind of view, looking out from the fire pit so I took that fire pit and I pushed it just a little bit further back into the space than the seating area. And I also made it so that when you're sitting inside in their dining room area, you're looking out, you see the water right here, you see the fire pit right there. So even if you can't go out and experience being outside in the space, you still can see it and you can remember the memories that you are going to have had or have out there in that space. So it's just kind of like, okay, we've got a focal point. Now, how do we work off of it? How do we stretch it just a little bit more? I think my favorite thing is how we did the, the different angles with the textures and we added smooth pavers with texture pavers. Just isn't a real subtle thing. Most people might not even actually pick up that it's a textured versus a smooth paver. But when you see the space, your eye visually notices that they are different. It just makes a different ambiance, but it's not something that might be uh, like a massive change to where if you didn't call it out, it's right in your face. Another thing that I tried to do with this layout was use the landscape to kind of draw the whole space in. So I've got different heights going on. I've also got plants that are blooming at different times of the year. So I put some trees around the space because those look really good for height. They, when they've got a light underneath of them at night, you've got a light in there. It had that canopy, the structure of the tree looks good. Winter, fall, spring, it always looks good. It always has some interest. Got some, some blueberries just to bring the birds to the water feature because we do have this flowing water through here with this element. I wanted to make sure there's something that'll actually even bring the birds to the space so they've got something to eat and also something to drink. Now, what you see here, you know, there's a lot of components that go into it from running the gas for the fire pit to electrical components that for the uh, water feature and then of course the low voltage lights and everything like that um, all going into that space. So we're doing all that in the back and then the front while we're here, he's like, hey, it needs to have a whole nother uh, element in the front. So in this space, we're actually taking this entire area right here and re-landscaping it, adding a water feature, some trees, and then again, expanding this area right in here, just fill out the whole space. So what you see that actually happened is different than what we had originally talked about. That's because I absolutely love this guy. We got to talking, my brother doing the water feature, got to talking with him. And all of a sudden, what we had originally planned, he's like, can we stretch it a little bit? Can we add this? Can we change this? And this is what I love about these spaces because sometimes once the hardscape gets in or once the space gets in, it starts to evolve. So you can kind of see we had like this fire pit area in here and we had the water feature that's right in this space right here. When we were putting it together, the water feature was going towards the house and you couldn't really see it necessarily from the fire pit. You could hear it, it sounded great, but you only kind of got the, the top of the water. So we added an urn right in this space and we, we kind of moved this maple up over here into this space. And that made a world of a difference because it kind of switched a little bit and pivoted it. 
And then we added a ton of light. So it was just one of these things where he's like, keep lighting it up. He got a little taste of the light and he's like, give me more, give me more. So of course my brother was happy to oblige him and put tons of lights in. Now, another thing that happened is we hadn't really gotten too far into the front. He loved the water feature in the back so much. He's like, do the same thing in the front. I want to have the, the, the yard that is just warm, inviting. When you walk up to it, you know that you're at my house. And it's funny, now that it's done, one of the neighbors came up and they were, you know, or he saw him at the grocery store and he's talking to him and they're like, oh, you're the guy with the fountain in your front yard. And he's like, not to get too, you know, prideful, but yeah, I'm the guy with the, with the fountain in my front yard. So we built, we originally had a bowl set in here, as you can kind of see in this design right here, you can see how there's these bowl sets. So we took the bowls out. He didn't like that as much as the urns. So we incorporated an urn in here, and then we did some real meaty boulders along the backside. As you can see, it was finished just to kind of give it that presence. Those boulders offered kind of like hugging it a little bit and just gave it that presence. When you come up to it, it's got a little bit of height. It's got some interest. It's got the water a little bit higher. And we even put a light up on the top of that urn. So as that water is going back and forth and kind of creating that flicker, it even looks a little bit like a flame. We then we lit up the house. You can see we've got lights all along the whole house. We lit up these trees. We built an entire ecosystem in the front yard that just encompasses it, has blooms all year round, and is just offering some really, really unique interest from a neighborhood where a lot of the houses just have one row of bushes, nothing else. You know, we added multiple la layers of bushes with different heights and different interests. We added boulders, we added lights, we lit up the house so you can see it as you're driving by. We wanna make sure it wasn't too gaudy. We didn't want it to be like, oh my gosh, this is just ridiculous, it's out of place, but it's very tastefully done and you can tell that it was professionally done. You can tell that it's, it's, a, it's a place that you know, somebody cares about their home. see it's done it looks absolutely amazing he loves it he's enjoying it well again what are we doing we're smoking a cigar we're hanging out and the idea hit us what if we built a cigar lounge outside that you can be outside in the elements but it kind of has this unstructured kind of uh, raw feel to it but it's still a place that you can go and sit and enjoy a cigar so what we did is we built a pergola right here. We put a roof over top of this pergola, not a true roof, but like a poly roof. So it still can see through, but it's a UV blocking. Um, so in the middle of the summer, when you're sitting there, you don't, you're not getting sunburned when you're sitting underneath this pergola, but you're also keeping like a light rain or a mist off of you. So we've got this pergola right here. We've got that roof going off. And then as we're sitting there, like some nights, it's just a little bit too chilly to be outside. So we added some 240 volt heaters to either side of it. So those heaters are now blasting heat into the space. And then we lit it up. So we right here on this back side, right in here, you can kind of see this area right here. We needed something to kind of close the space in, but also add some interest. So we did some shade panels in there and we lit those up absolutely beautifully. So it's, it really has this warmth to the space. So now when your couch is in there, you have that warm light going up behind it. It just kind of starts to close the space in just a little bit, but still makes it feel like it's not like, a full room it's still you're outside enjoying being in nature and then as we're talking what and how cool would it be if there's stereo sound so we we already have the water feature over there that is just absolutely amazing jim did a beautiful job on that it's stunning i got to talk to him it's like what if you could hear kind of different sounds of water from different angles as you turn your head you're hearing something different so we're adding another urn right here into this space over here by the the so when you're sitting in the cigar lounge you've got the water right in front of you but you also have the water far away from you and you're hearing the different textures of the sound and it just is just pleasing to the ears and then of course we're starting to talk okay we're out here we're smoking a cigar we've got heat we're out of the rain 
Um, we've got the sound of water. We've got the sights of landscape. What else are we? You're probably going to want to drink and you're probably going to want to eat. So we incorporated a, a small bar with a fridge and a grill in it and then a place to lay out food so he can lay out all of the fixings right there on the bar, have the fridge right underneath of it, and just enjoy this space. So uh, phase one was absolutely amazing, but phase two I think actually takes the cake because now he can really get outside and enjoy being in nature. Get outside, my friends.